Hey everyone, I'm Matt Dolan with Dolan Divorce Lawyers in Connecticut. And in a prior video, I had shown how to enter into a binding arbitration agreement to go to arbitration outside of court with a private judge or decision maker rather than having a trial in open court. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is basically how to have that arbitration award entered as a binding court order after the arbitration is complete. So the relevant statutes, I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of the statutes, but basically, and I'm, when I say I'm not gonna get into it, I'm not gonna share my screen as I often do and show the statutes, but I'll just give a loose explanation of the relevant statutes. So Connecticut General Statute section 52-416, that's the statute that basically says that the arbitrator has 30 days from the completion of the arbitration to issue their award. So the uh, the award can be null and void if it is issued after 30 days of the completion of the arbitration. So you're just gonna wanna make sure, obviously, not that it's necessarily in your control, that's up to the arbitrator, but you're just gonna wanna make sure they're aware, I suppose, that they have 30 days to issue an award unless the arbitration agreement that you entered with the court that basically says, you know, we're agreeing to arbitration, unless that agreement itself gives some different period of time during which the uh, arbitrator has to issue an award, then that that time frame in the arbitration agreement is binding. But of, if it's not, if a specific time is not specified in that arbitration agreement, the default is 30 days from the completion of the arbitration. Now, after you have received the arbitration award. Um, for example, if if one party is not happy with the award and thinks there's a problem with it and they want to either have it vacated or have it corrected based on some mistake that the arbitrator made, they have 30 days from receiving the arbitration award. From, from their, the date they received the arbitration award, they have 30 days to file a motion with the court seeking a correction to the award or seeking that the award be vacated. And to see the specifics on the basis of when an award can be vacated, look at section 52-418. Um, and if you want to see when an award can be corrected, basically, by the court rather than the arbitrator, look at 52-419. And 52-420 is the statute that says that you have 30 days from the date of receiving notice of the arbitration award to file a motion to vacate, modify, or correct the award. So it's 30 days if you want to change the award, but if you're okay with the award and you just want to have it entered as a court order, then you have one year from receipt of the uh, arbitration award to, uh, to seek that it be entered as a court order. I don't know why you would ever wait a year. You're, you know, you're probably going to want to tie up loose ends and get it filed more quickly than that. Um, but I'm going to share my screen and, you know, assuming I'll do some separate videos on how to seek to have a award vacated, modified, or corrected if there's any issues with it. But if there are no issues and you just want it entered as a court order, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, so I'm going to share my screen, show some sample documents. So this is just what you have to file with the court is a motion to confirm and approve the arbitration award. So this just says, you know, the defendant in this case says that on so and so a date, the parties entered into a binding arbitration agreement, which was approved and entered as an order of the court. So that's the agreement you entered into saying we want to go to arbitration. And then on so-and-so a date, the parties and their counsel participated and completed arbitration with whoever the arbitrator was. You know, I use Judge Monroe as an example here. She does a lot of arbitrations in Connecticut. So you want to put the dates that you did the arbitration and then the date that the arbitration uh, award was issued and basically just tell the court that you, you're moving for the award to be confirmed and approved. So this is a sample motion, and 
Um, so you're going to want to get this filed with the court. And then if you and the opposing party are on the same page and you, you both want the uh, arbitration award entered as a court order, then you should be able to just file a agreement. So this is a sample agreement. It just says the parties agree that the arbitration award filed at, you know, and so when I file this, I file this as like a motion, you know, just a motion to confirm arbitration award. And then I also file as a proposed order, the actual arbitration award from the arbitrator. So, you know, you can file a subsequent stipulation that says the parties agree that the arbitration award filed at pleading number so-and-so shall be entered as an order of the court and that this arbitration award resolves all pending motions. So you can file this with the court and then you should be able to file some documents along with this agreement in order to avoid going to court entirely. Um, you would have to file a request for approval form and then both sides would have to file a affidavit in support of request for approval um, in order to not go to court at all. Otherwise, if you file this motion, it will presumably be uh, a court date will be assigned and everybody you know, will go to court. Well, presumably everybody, at least the moving party. So in this case, the defendant would go to court, say, you know, that the court entered, you know, that they received an arbitration award and they want the court to enter it as an order. So, you know, you file that motion and either enter an agreement that it be uh, become an order of the court or you go to court and ask that it be entered. You know, you ask the judge's permission for it to be entered as an order of the court. Um, I suppose another possibility, sometimes it, this happened on one of my cases recently is I filed the motion and the judge just granted it without having to go to court. I don't think the judge is supposed to do that, but it can happen. So those are the basics on how to have a arbitration award entered as a court order. If you have any other questions, as usual, feel free to contact our office.